Within hip hop, within music, you know, there's obviously an industry, um, lots of people involved, and a lot of politics behind the scenes shit that goes on. Mm. Um, now, I guess in terms of skateboarding, is it the same sort of thing? Like, there's a lot of politics and a lot of behind the scenes bullshit that goes on when it comes to, you know, whether it's winning comps, getting sponsorships, doing tours. Yeah. Is it like in rap, unfortunately? just because you're talented doesn't necessarily mean that that alone is going to propel you to where you want to get is yeah, skateboarding. Um, yeah, for sure. Like there's going to be politics in everything, I guess, but I always tried, I tried to stay away from that because it took the fun away from it for me, you know, like, you know, I just tried to do the right thing, but by everyone that I was with, but yeah, like, I mean, you quit, you know, you change sponsors or you go from one team to another one, then these dudes are bummed and then it's snowball effect. Like, I mean, it can go either way, you know? Like, mm. yeah. You know, some dudes disappear overnight, you know? And it's like, it was like, why? Like, you know, that dude was amazing. Like, like I don't know the answers, but like, yeah. Did you ever have any situations where you were, like whether you were changing teams or you had deals on the table or whatever and there was some, you know, sticky situations? I mean, yeah, I, like when I first went away to Europe, like my sponsors from Australia, like kind of, you know, like I, I just like really like to me, it wasn't like I was like swapping for the fun of it. I was, you know, like trying to better myself, you know, to the next to the next step, you know. So really, there's nothing, you know, like they can say here because they can't offer me what mm -hmm. they're offering me, you know, like over here. But I stuck like I stuck through, you know, like pretty much the same sponsors my my whole you know career and still speak to the same people so yeah i mean to each their own with that one you know like do what makes you happy but i mean mm. if you know i was trying to get sponsors and stuff like that then i'd probably choose people that you know that i thought would represent me the best because like in the end like that's the way everyone's going to see you through those sponsors so yeah so did you have situations where you had other offers on the table and stuff like that but you chose yeah. to yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, there was, there was other offers and, you know, like, you know, I always like, you know, would, you know, give them the benefit of like, you know, offering or, you know, just to hear it out. But in the end, like, I, I just wanted to, you know, be comfortable and, and skate and do, you know, what I wanted. So, mm. you know, like, yeah. And I did that and uh, I got no regrets in, you know, like in anything really. So, yeah. Yeah, so no one, no one ever, no one ever offered you a check that now you're just like, dang, I should have taken that check. Yeah, I mean, maybe, yeah, probably, <laughs> but I mean, it's like in the end, it's like I said, choose wisely because they they can make you and they can break you. So mm. really, like they offer you that coin doesn't mean it's going to be there like six months later when you fuck yourself up and you know. You know, you want someone that's going to stick stick by you and, like, you know, I, I, I felt like I had that, you know. Like, that that's, yeah. you know, like, I, I tried to stick stick through and, you know, do the right thing by them and, you know, like, you know. So is there, is there a few scenarios in skateboarding where someone might get a sponsorship and it'll, it's all rolling smoothly, but then once they get injured, they that's it, they just get dropped and... Yeah, like, a lot of the time, I mean, six months is a long time, you know, and, and you know, like... They don't they don't pay for you you, you know you like your insurances or your like like hospital or like anything like that so yeah like yeah it, i don't know do you want to like if you own a company do you want to pay someone for six months while they're laid out you know mm. like really it's kind of like that you know like sometimes people yeah they just fizzle out over that time you know and then some people can't get back to it because it's so demanding you know like yeah so is a deal, I guess every deal is different. You know, everybody would get different. Yeah, deals. no, through the teams, there's no there's, there's no written handbook or mm. there's nothing that says you'll make this through everything. They're all different and that's, yeah, that's for you, you know. Like, you got to sort of yeah, figure that out and yeah, do the best that you can for yeah, yourself. And how, you yeah, how you know what this person's offering you is correct, you know. Like, yeah, so that's why you got to kind of, yeah. yeah, yeah, keep your eyes peeled and try to, you know the way I saw it, you know, and yeah. So now with, um, 
I guess on that topic, I would assume that say you get a, a, a sneaker deal or, you know, you're sponsored by a company is that pay you like a, you know, like a chunk of money for a certain period of time. And then you get product of whatever it is, whether it's a shoe or a board. Like basically in simple, like in a simple way, it goes like, you know, you get flow and that will be through your skate shop and distributor. And then you've got like, you know, you, you sponsored through the team, which they'll run ads and, you know, use you for like promotional stuff. And then after that, you know, there's like from the sponsorship, you travel and all that. But next thing after that is, you know, like it's up to you, you know, you, and them, you know, like they basically will decide when you're ready to be pro, which, you know, mm. that's that's it. Yeah. So before you go pro, you're like pro am. Is that yeah, correct? I mean, you just am you're an amateur until you go pro. And then, yeah. It, it, yeah. There's a few, you know, like, yeah, there's a different aspects or yeah, like yeah. you know like that has to you know it, yeah like they're not going to turn somebody pro if no one's going to buy the shoe if if you're a dickhead basically like mm -hmm. you know like no one's going to buy it so they're not going to make you pro so see it like that you know almost but you have no choice in that who likes you so <laughs> i don't so know you just skate and then if they like you yeah you go pro yeah and i guess when you go pro that's when it's officially like you make enough income where you can live off the shit that's what you do full time i mean yeah there's amateurs that make good money you know like as well and like if you're doing the comps and all that then you could be making good money like that but yeah the pros will make the most and you know having the shoe and all that will you know bring you in the most income like shoes and clothing companies and all mm. that because they have the budgets and you know like you know, it, it's more widespread and, you know, you travel more and, you you know, you get more out of it. And do know? those do those sponsors, like, do, they, do your sponsors kind of either encourage you or push you to enter competitions and skate a certain amount? And Not really, man. Like, it, it's up to you. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, you don't, you know, like, you, you're always, like, talking and keeping in touch because, you know, they're, like, they're booking trips and, and tours and stuff like that, but... Ultimately, if you don't go out skating, then you, got you no don't footage. have footage. You're not getting photos, and uh, you know, you know, it, yeah. So it's all up to you, really. Like in the end, like you know, what you make of it. Yeah, it's up to you to. Yeah, it, yeah. It's a yeah. Now, um, I guess in a nutshell, for any young, you know, any young skater out there who is dreaming of going pro. Their mm -hmm. dream is to go pro. Mm -hmm. As someone who's walked that fire, do you have any sort of bits of advice that you would give someone? Just enjoy it, stay true to yourself, and yeah, like take care of your body a little bit more and maybe like do things that, you know, feel comfortable, not rather that you want to do, you know, because, you know, you can sit there and think you can do something because you saw it, but doesn't mean, you know, like, you can do it so yeah if anything yeah just have fun man and just every day just treat it different and do what works for you the, 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 the last oh, yeah.